In this video, I'm going to be talking about your carbs and your fats and how many of them you should be considering consuming on a daily basis. But this bit is completely irrelevant if you haven't nailed all the time, every day, being able to track your calorie intake and maybe your protein intake. If you've not nailed them, this video, just don't skip it, listen to it anyway, but just take it with a pinch of salt. You don't need to be doing this. You can gain a great physique just by tracking calories and protein. You can achieve awesome fat loss just by tracking calories and maybe protein. So don't worry, don't get overwhelmed. So please, if you haven't yet, watch my other videos on calories, protein, fiber, before you even watch this video, it just won't make sense. So when it comes to your macros, or more specifically your fats, there are no studies available as of now telling, telling us an exact number of fats you should be eating on a daily basis. If someone's trying to tell you a macronutrient profile for your body, your sport, your type, or who you are, just ignore them. It doesn't exist yet. Okay, so why would we consider tracking our fats is the first thing I'm going to tell you. It's because it's going to help you with general health. It's going to help you with your hormonal profile and loads of other really important stuff that goes on in the body. So, more so, I want you to try and aim between 20 and 30%. Being below 20% is probably not a good idea. Being above it doesn't matter too much. Okay, so there's no need to start doing calculations to work out the exact gram of fat between 20 and 30%. You don't need to do that. What you can do is use the percentage on your phone, on the app, on MyFitnessPal to just see what that number would be. I also don't want you to bother checking it on the day to day. Just every now and again, have a little look back through at your history Go to a little pie chart and check it's between 20 and 30%. If it's really, really low, just start changing your dietary habits to have a little bit more fat in it. If it's really, really high, just start changing your dietary habits to have a little bit less fat in it. Simple as that. So at this stage, what you should be doing is just tracking your calories on a day-to-day -day basis. When I say tracking, I mean putting the food on some scales if it needs weighing and weighing the food, not just throwing it in a bowl and pretending you're tracking. That's not tracking and that's where a lot of issues happen with people who think they are tracking when they actually aren't. So we've got that nailed, we're tracking calories. Next thing, track your protein. Just have a quick check on the app, make sure your protein's at about the right level. The next thing, check your fiber, check that's at about the right level. The next thing, check your fats and make sure they're between 20 and 30%. And you can do that every few days, you don't have to do it every day. Just make sure your protein and your, fiber, your calories is right. Now I fully understand that's a lot to do at this stage, so if you do get overwhelmed, just take a step back. All we need you to be doing at this stage is getting your calories right. So if you can do them other stuff, it's a bonus. If you can do it sometimes, it's a bonus. So crack on, just get your calories right first of all.